we're going to talk about our convertible jet pump, which means it can be set up deep well or shallow well. We're going to show you how to put the shallow well injector together and bolt it on this pump. This is the injector body. Comes with the nozzle already in place. With the injector kit, you're going to get the seal, two bolts, two Venturis, one clearly marked DW, which is for deep well. We will not be using this in that application. This is a shallow well. You take the Venturi, screw it into your injector, which goes in over the top of that nozzle. Hand tight's good enough. You've got the face flange seal. That's going to go here. The injector is going to go there. Tighten your bolts down. Pump comes with two gauges. This is a pressure gauge. This is a vacuum gauge. The pressure gauge goes in the case. You take your quarter inch plug out, insert your gauge, snug it up. Again, use thread sealing on that. This plug is for your vacuum gauge. You take this plug out, and you're going to insert your vacuum gauge in this tapping right here. The vacuum gauge is added to this unit to help you in troubleshooting this unit. If this gauge was reading 22 inches, that means basically you have exceeded the suction lift of this pump. It may mean that you have the suction line buried in the mud or you have the foot valve is closed and will not open and you're going to get a high vacuum reading. If it's reading zero, basically it's telling you you have a suction leak. If it is fluctuating, you could have gas or air in this. What you could do to maybe remedy this is put a ball valve on the discharge, throttle the pump back to see if it equals out. It should be between 10 and 14 inches of mercury is what it should be showing. We've included this stock sheet in the box to help you troubleshoot the system before you have to call customer service.